Hello friends, I hope you have seen my previous video in which I told you an amazing short trick through which you can add uh, the integers, very large integers like uh, uh, integers in thousands and multiple thousands. Uh, I added uh, integers up to 99,999 uh, within a uh, matter of just say about 7 to 8 seconds without uh, using the traditional uh, you know addition uh, tricks, additional uh, methods which uh, the uh, teachers are teaching at the basic level. So let's see how we can extrapolate that particular trick to obtain the answer of these four problems and mind you this trick is totally different from the previous one and uh, here the final answer which we are going to get is negative. In the previous video all the questions which I took up every question had a solution uh, which was positive and uh, that was a little bit easy but uh, you know one little single step added to that method and you can solve all the problems which are having the final answer as uh, negative also. So let's see four questions of this type. Now see the first one. So I'm going to continue with the same method. You know there's no difference in the approach. Okay. So see this is a four digit number, four digit, four digit and four digit. So all are four digit numbers. So we can uh, uh, you know skip one extra step which, which will be required if the number of digits in the numbers will be different. Here the digits are same. So let's continue. 4 minus 5 is minus 1 plus 6. Minus 1 plus 6 is 5 and minus 3. So 5 minus 3 it gives you 2. So I have uh, performed the operations on the unit digit and now I will take up the digits at the tens places. So this is 2 minus 2, 0 plus 1, so 1, 1 minus 5 is minus 4, so this is the second digit. Now the third digit, 7 minus 9, 7 minus 9 is minus 2 plus 1, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 and minus 8, so minus 9 and finally we have 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 minus 7 is minus 2. So you can see here the last digit I, which I have obtained here is negative and it hints towards the fact that my answer is going to be negative. So that is a checkpoint for you. Now how to carry forward with the method. Now let's see the traditional approach which I told you in the last video. I will do the same steps here. And I will try and make all the other numbers except the first one obviously all the other numbers positive. Now see this is already positive so 2. Now if I borrow 1 from here this will be 10 minus 4 and this will be further reduced by 1 so this is minus 10 and minus 2. See friends I am writing all the steps in the first question just to tell you the method how this uh, trick is to be uh, you know performed. So, okay, so this has become positive and this is now positive 6 and again I will carry 1 from here. So, this will be reduced by 1, so minus 3 and since this is 10, so 10 minus 10, fine. So, my digits will be minus 3, 0, 6 and 2. Now, this is the step I need. I need only the first number as negative and all other numbers as positive. So th this is the basic procedure. You don't need to write four steps. This can be done in one step. I'll skip steps in the next question so that you can you may uh, practice it later and uh, get to a speed of you know when you are able to solve these type of questions in seven to eight seconds. Now what happens next? See minus three is followed by three digits. So I will write minus three this number followed by one two three so three zeros and I will add to this this number and this number is zero six two that is sixty two. So minus three thousand plus sixty two minus two thousand nine hundred and thirty eight. You can check friends the answer of this question minus 2938.
uh, you must be pre pretty amazed uh, you know having seen this method how this answer is coming everything is logically justified if you think carefully these steps are mathematically you know true let's see the second question i will not skip any step in this also then for these two questions i'll be skipping some steps let's see so this is 5 minus 4 which is 1 1 plus 3 is 4 4 minus 6 is minus 2 so i have a minus 2 here second digit 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 9 minus 1 plus 9 is 8 8 minus 7 is 1 third digit 9 minus 3 is 6 6 plus 8 is 14 14 minus 9 is 5 and finally 8 minus 2 is 6 uh, here we don't have the fourth digit so leave it 8 minus 2 is 6 6 minus 9 is minus 3 so here are the four numbers minus 3 5 1 and minus 2 now you can see apart from this number which has to be negative because I am taking up questions in which the answer will be negative another number is negative here so I need to convert that into positive first so borrow 1 from here this will become 10 minus 2 this will become 0 so I will reduce this by 1 now this is 5 and this is minus 3 and now 10 minus 2 is 8 so here we have 0 here you have 5 and here you have minus 3 so we have reached that step where first number is negative and all other numbers are positive so after this minus 3 followed by 1 2 3 3 digits means 3 zeros and then you have to just add 508 to this result and you will get your final answer so obviously this is less than 1000 so your answer will be minus 2000 something and now you need to subtract 1000 and 508 how do you do that subtraction from base quantity is 1000 remember the old rule all from 9 last from 10 so 9 minus 5 4 9 minus 0 9 and 10 minus 8 2 so here is your answer minus 2492 is the simplified form of this question Vedic Maths comes to your rescue whenever you have to subtract round figures, uh, something from the round figures. So that's what I've used here, all from 9 and last from 10. Okay, let's see the third question now. Here we have numbers as large as 23,574. So let's see the first step. So this is 4 minus 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 minus 5, 1. So here you have 1. After that the second digit 7, minus 9 is minus 2, minus 2 plus 9, uh, minus 2 plus 9 is 7, 7 minus 2 is 5, the third digit 5 minus 8 is minus 3, minus 3 plus 7 is 4, 4 minus 9 is minus 5 and then fourth digit 3 minus 7. 6 3 minus 6 is minus 3 minus 3 plus 7 is uh, 4 and 4 minus 7 comes out to be minus 3 the fifth digit 2 minus 1 is 1 1 and here you have 4 so 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 4 is minus 3 so here you have the five numbers in order now see this is positive this is positive so I will retain this, these as it is. I will make this positive. So I will borrow 1 from here. So now I am skipping steps. So 10 minus 5 becomes 5. And this reduces to minus 4 and minus 3. So 1, 5, 5. Again this is negative. So borrow 1 from here. 10 minus 4 becomes 6. And this becomes minus 4. Now how do you uh, carry on with this one? Now very easy you have to just subtract minus 4 this and 4 digits are there so minus 4 followed by 4 zeros and add this number 6551 to this now you will get your answer so what will be the answer so this is 40,000 something and this is less than 10,000 so my answer will be minus 3 something and now 10,000 minus this again use all from 9 and last from 10 so 9 minus 6 is 3 
9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 5 is 4 and 10 minus 1 is 9. So here you have the answer. Such a big calculation and your answer is there. Minus 33449. Let's see the final question. Here you have 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. So the first digit is 2. Now 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. So here you have 7. The third one, 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. So all positive numbers, so that helps me in finding the correct answer using, you know, minimum number of steps. Then fourth digit, minus 5 and uh, plus 4, so minus 1 and minus 2. So this is minus 3. So very easy now because all these numbers are positive so minus 3 followed by 1 2 3 3 zeros and add 472 to the result how do you do this this is less than 1000 so your answer will be minus 2000 something and 1000 minus 472 all from 9 last from 10 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 7 is 2 and 10 minus 2 is 8 so minus 2528 is the answer of this question friends a very very useful trick for ssc cgl and all clerical aptitude exams including banking you know these kind of calculations it is asked very frequently and uh, books on competitions you know they are full of such uh, practice questions so you need to practice this method by taking 30 40 questions at a stretch give yourself one hour and try to solve these type of questions i'm going to uh, assure you that you can solve them in hardly six to seven seconds time and within that time students will be just writing these numbers one below the other and that's the time you need for finding the correct answer and that too orally also so you can work out wonders using these tricks which i'm telling you on the channel and uh, you need to share it with all those students who are appearing in competitions and looking to improve their speed of calculations. And if you have not uh, done till now, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon for getting notifications of all the future uploads. Thanks for watching this video.